I just shared a story of my experience in California when I rode my bike around the world for a year. And if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below to that story. I was stuck on a road which apparently has claimed quite a few people's lives thanks to landslides during the wet and it was pouring rain and then something happened. But the thing is, that wasn't my only experience in California. In fact, more than 10 different people we met took us into their homes. This was unbelievable. In fact, I think more people took us in there than the rest of the world combined. It was pretty close. The thing is, right, in the comment section, a lot of people said people in California, uh, they have a woke mind virus or they are bad people or things like that. A lot of people didn't. A lot of people said they're great and they love people there. Now, I want to say one thing about the people in California. They're embracing EVs in a way that the rest of America is not. And that is something to be applauded no matter how you look at the situation because they are leading America to a clean energy future and it will impact the rest of the US in a very positive way. Doesn't matter how you splice it, this is a good thing. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel because it does help with the algorithms. It does help the, us to get more of our videos out. And it means that I can spend more time just focusing on what I love to do, which is make this content for you guys. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate your support this year. And thanks in particular as well to our Patreon subscribers and our YouTube members. California, electric car sales. They said they've increased to 18% of new car sales in the state compared to 6% for the rest of the US. That's triple. That's triple the number, right? Triple the number of people in California versus the rest of the US. Honestly, I've got to say, you know what? You have to say, well done. This is an excellent result. Somebody had to lead. You guys did it. And this is extremely important because you know what I think is going to happen? I think other states are going to say, yep, look at those guys. Let's follow their lead. The other thing is, you know, Tesla needed people to support its company. It needed people to buy its early EVs, which were, I mean, to be frank, let's say a Tesla Model S from 2013, how much they cost? They were crazy expensive, right? But what happened now is you can buy a Model 3, the standard range Model 3, and it's way better than the original 2012 Model S, and it's way cheaper. So that's what happens for the early adopters. The early adopters make it possible for the late adopters to get a vehicle at a much better price that's much better quality. The same thing will continue. So while EV naysayers claim that subsidies are all that is keeping electric vehicles alive, well, guess what? Tesla hasn't qualified for any subsidies for a long time now in the US. The US government, to be frank, this is something I've been very critical on this channel. They've been sponsoring other countries' automotive industry. This is truly bizarre when you think about it. Think about the billions of dollars that Germany puts into its own automotive industry. Think about the billions of dollars that South Korea and Japan put into their automotive industries. And the US is just going, no, it doesn't matter. We'll just give them some more money. They can do with some more of our cash. But Tesla, no, you don't qualify for EV subsidies. Now, fortunately, that bill has now been changed, but it was in place for quite a long time where electric vehicles from those other countries were getting the subsidies, the $7,500 tax credit, and Tesla and eventually General Motors weren't getting it. So the truth is Tesla has succeeded even in that environment, which you would think would have harmed them, and yet it has barely made any effect. Now, surprisingly, Tesla owns about 65% of all the electric car sales in the US. So without Tesla in the US, imagine how minuscule the electric car market would be. I mean, in theory, right, it would be around 2% of all car sales, right? 2% without them. Instead, we're at 6%, which is an enormous difference. California's Office of the Governor issued a report on the progress of the state's electric vehicle market. That states now that 18% of all new cars sold in California are EVs. The other thing is, right, they've just put in that bill. 2035, you cannot sell a gasoline powered or diesel powered vehicle. I think that's pretty impressive they did that. They would have been influenced by lobbying from big oil. They would have been influenced by lobbying from other car manufacturers, which don't want that to happen. 
and they still went and did it. You've got to give them some credit for that. So what does that mean? 42% of all electric vehicle sales in the US are in California, 42%. 17.7% of all vehicles sold in California this year were electric. 79,000 chargers were installed. That's pretty cool, right? They didn't need the Biden government and the Biden administration to help them make EVs a reality in California. They just went and did it themselves. Now, sure, if you want to compare them to Norway, where EVs are about 85% of the market, well, you can. You can say it's not very good compared to that. But I don't think that's a fair comparison because California is in America, even though a lot of you think it's, you know, they're all a bit weird or they're all a bit different. They're still part of America. For example, so far in California, nearly 600,000 electric vehicles have been delivered to customers. Probably a lot more than that have been sold. I'm sure a lot of Californians are still waiting for certain models of electric car to arrive at their doorstep. What this means, California could hit 20% electric vehicle sales by the end of the year. 20%, that's a huge figure. For example, if they only increase by 50% more next year, when there's going to be a whole lot more EVs available, a whole lot more production available, a whole lot more models available, so an increase of 50% seems incredibly reasonable, we can see them hitting 30% market share in 2023. Right? What are we going to looking at? be looking at in, say, 2025, 2026? Let me know what you guys think. My guess is going to be in 2026, we'll be looking at about 70% electric vehicle market share in California. I know that sounds optimistic, but I've made some optimistic predictions in the past, and it usually turns out, if I'm wrong on them, it's because I've understated what's going to happen. Now, this does highlight one big thing in America, though. A lot needs to change in the other 51 states for electric vehicles to be adopted in the way that they should be, in the way that the market needs, right? The rest of the US, what is it? We're looking at, you know, maybe around 4% electric vehicles. If we just discard California from the situation, the rest of the US is at about 4%, which is very, very low. But remember, we have so many vehicle manufacturing facilities sprouting up or changing their factory for instance, in BMW's case, they're changing their factories now from building gas-powered vehicles to building EVs. We've got Hyundai, we've got General Motors, we've got Ford, we've got Mercedes, we've got Volkswagen, we've got Tesla, all these car companies going, yep, we're building EVs in the US, we're doing it now. We've got to make it happen as quickly as possible. Obviously, the IRA and the Biden administration have definitely fast-tracked that. There's no question about that. That is awesome to see. Personally, I think the American vehicle market it's going to get close to around 70% electric by 2030. It's going to happen very, very quickly. But people are going to adopt these in the same way that they change from Blackberries and these old pieces of junk to smartphones within a very short period of time. All these companies competing against each other are going to bring the prices down. You guys in the US, you're going to have a plethora of choices within the next five years. Frankly, why, if you've got a plethora of choices at affordable prices, would you choose a gas car? Yeah. You see, I don't think people will, at least not most people. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And hey, Californians, well done. Got to say, credit to you guys. Credit where credit is due.